We're still talking about linear equations and two variables, but now we're going to talk about horizontal and vertical lines. Okay, let's go ahead and graph these two equa or these three equations. Let's start with the first one. We need to try to put it in standard form first. So let's see what we have. We need to distribute this negative 3. So 5y minus 3y plus 12 plus 4x equals 2y. All right, well, we know that we need to get all of the x's and y's on the same side and all of the constants on the other side. So let's subtract 2y and let's subtract 12 from both sides. So this is 0 and this is 0. So we know we have our 4x first and then 5y minus 3y is 2y and 2y minus 2y is 0. So all that goes away. We have 4x equals negative 12. Well, if we divide this by 4, we end up with x equals negative 3. Well, how would you graph something like this? x has to equal negative 3. So every one of these has to be negative 3. But we could pick anything for y. We could pick 5 negative 2, 0. We could pick anything for y as long as x is negative 3. I'm so sorry about my dog barking. Okay, let's continue. Alright, so let's graph each of those. We'll have negative 3, 5. We'll have negative 3, negative 2. And we'll have negative 3, 0. Something like that. You can see that this is making a vertical line. So, get the line that we want to graph. And there we go. This is the line x equals 3. I should probably label that, huh? This is the line x equals 3. Okay, so how about b then? For b, we have negative 1 plus 2y equals 6. If we add 1 to both sides, we get 2y equals 7. Well, if we divide by 2, we get y equals 7 halves, which is the same thing as 3 and a half. That'll help us when we're trying to graph it. So if we wanted to graph this one, do you see how it says y equals 7 halves? So every one of these needs to be 7 halves. No matter what we pick for x, y has to be 7 halves. So we could pick anything again. We could pick 0, we could pick 1, we could pick negative 2. So let's see what it looks like if we graph that one. We graph 0 and then 3 and a half. So we go up to 3 and a half, something like that. Then we graph 1, 3 and a half. Then we graph negative 2, 3 and a half. Well, you can see this one's actually going to make a horizontal line. So this one looks something like that, right at 3, where y equals 3 and a half. Okay, so how about the last one? On the last one, if we were just to divide both sides by 3, we would end up with x equals 0, right? So where is x equal to 0? If you go this way, x is equal to everything, right? But what if you were to turn it this way? x equals 0. That's true, isn't it? For every point on this line, x is equal to 0. So the last equation is another vertical line and it's a vertical line at x equals 0, or the y-axis. So this one will be x equals 0.